We're back again, cruisers. Welcome aboard and thank you for joining us for our daily cruise news updates. We have four brand new updates heading your way as one cruise company is open to implementing new charges. Watch this video and more with all news fed directly to you from cruisehive.com. Food, glorious food, as Princess Cruises is introducing a new creative vegan menu aboard all its ships, focusing not only on delicious plant-based meals, but also to showcase both culinary creativity and eco-consciousness. The new menu is in response to guest desire for additional healthy plant-based dining options, though the exact dates of the menu has not been announced. There's no lack of variety, which features starters such as roasted pears with dried apricots and pistachios, robust salads, exquisite roasted eggplant and tomato soups, pastas with examples of fettuccine with walnut sauce, penne with red pepper pesto, and many entrees to try out. So cruisers, they certainly sound mouth-watering to me. So what do you think? Will this be a roaring success in your eyes? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Holland America Line continues to update its vessels with Starlink internet capabilities, with six ships of the 11 now offering high-speed internet service. The installation began with the almost 100,000 gross ton Koningsdam and continued with Osterdam, Volendam, Vesterdam, Zandam and Zoiderdam. Early feedback of the satellite technology has been overwhelmingly positive and essential for each ship's officers and crew members. Now with the remaining five ships in the fleet, Nordam, Eurodam, New Amsterdam and New Statendam and the line's newer ship Rotterdam all planned to be fully hooked up by mid-December. Guests aboard Princess Cruises, Enchanted Princess got a slow start to their cruise getaway on September the 30th as it was delayed for approximately 10 hours from depart in Barcelona. The ship's captain informed guests that the delay was due to a thruster issue, but it was repaired by a diving team before the ship left the port. The next port of call was then to Gibraltar before setting sail on the 14-night Mediterranean and Greek Isle cruise, including places such as Marseille, Genoa, Naples in Italy and Athens and Istanbul in Turkey. Carnival Corporation's president and CEO Josh Weinstein addressed the subject of fuel surcharges. The statement came during a level of uncertainty concerning rising fuel prices. Although Weinstein mentions that any potential surcharge would affect future bookings and not for those who have already secured their cruise, Carnival Cruise Line terms and policy could be applied even if the cruise fare has been paid in full. Adding a surcharge would be a temporary measure, primarily to counter sudden price increase and would be regarded as a last resort, knowing it would raise eyebrows among their guests. However, efforts to use less fuel saved the company an estimated $375 million this year and no doubt lead the cruise line re-evaluating their routes, making more fuel efficient savings but with potential itinerary changes. And that concludes today's updates cruisers, my name is Paul and thank you for taking the time to watch the video. If you'd like to explore the new topics we have covered in the video, you can find them on our website on cruisehive.com. To stay informed, kindly show your support by clicking the like button and subscribing to our channel. Have a good day cruisers and I'll see you in the next video.